Evening guys, welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading our love during this pandemic because we all need a little bit of loving guys, we all need a little bit of loving. Now before I go any further, please like, share and most importantly subscribe to the channel. Remember subscription is free so if you haven't done it yet, come on guys, hit that subscribe button. Let's make the well, Football with Brownie community bigger and better. Okay. Gonna try and do one of these before every game. Uh, apologies in advance if I don't do it every game, but um, Bill Cardiff City News. Uh, a bit of information about uh, Mick McCarthy's press conference before tomorrow's game against uh, Blackpool, and we'll just see where it goes on a, on a Friday uh, Friday evening. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is Johnny Williams. Unfortunately for Johnny. Uh, you know, he wasn't offered uh, an extension to his deal. Uh, he was, it was a short-term contract offered in, in January, unfortunately. Uh, it wasn't meant to be, as in, you know, he was injury-prone coming in. Uh, and, you know, it's not nice to say, but I think he was a, a waste of money, if I'm honest with you. Uh, he seems like a real good crack, good lad, uh, good lad to have in a changing room, but you can't play it. You can't pay a player's wage uh, for, for someone who's just a, a great guy. Um, yeah, he's expressed his disappointment. Um, and he goes on to say, just wanted to thank all Cardiff fans for his support since I joined. He wrote this on Instagram. Shame, shame it didn't work out the way I wanted, but wishing Cardiff City all the very best for the season. Looking forward to the next chapter. I'd like to say... Even though I wasn't in support of uh, of the signing simply because of his injury record, I'd like to uh, give Johnny Williams all the very best. Wish him all the very best for the future. Okay, let's get on with it. It's Mick McCarthy and his uh, press conference today. Uh, Cardiff going to Blackpool tomorrow. And for all those who are old enough to remember, Blackpool away was a great trip. You go up there on a Friday, uh, you know... Have some uh, interesting evenings on a Friday night. And then obviously the game on a Saturday. Some people would then stay on a Saturday night, come back Sunday. Or some would come back right uh, straight after the game. But uh, yeah, the Tower Lounge was a great, great time on a Friday night before a, a Blackpool away. Anyway, uh, going on to it. Um, if I'm honest with you, it wasn't really the most interesting the press conferences. Uh, but um, you know they have to happen on a Friday. I wonder if I wonder if uh, managers actually like doing them, because it's their opportunity really to give their spiels to any issues which may have may happen in the uh, uh, during the week. You know, so just bear with me a sec. I need to get it up. I mean, get the story up, not something else up. Anyway, <laughs> just bear with me. <clears throat> Ramo, Ramo. Okay, Kieran Brown. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation. Middlesbrough actually put a, an offer in for him. Um, he's got one year left on his contract, and there has been a contract uh, put in front of him, extension put in front of him. Uh, Middlesbrough, as they say, have put in an offer. Uh, Mick McCarthy. Uh, Mick McCarthy basically said, well, the question was, could he reinvest the money if uh, Kieran Brown did leave? Mick McCarthy said, I'm not sure we got any money to spend. Replacing Kieran, Warney, as in Neil Warnock, is not daft, by the way. He He's double cute. He's put... He has been uh, around a lot longer than me. He sees Kieran Brown as exactly what he did us last year. Left-sided centre-back, left-back and left-wing-back. If you can get him for... It's just jumped. Brilliant. If you can get him for what he's bidding, then he's a very good player. So why the bloody hell should I sell him to Warney? Or let him go there unless the recompense gives me the chance to replace him. If not, it's not happening. I can't be any straighter than that. I do like Mick McCarthy. You know, compared to 
the nonsense which um, Neil Harris was coming out. I do like Mick McCarthy. Basically, he's saying, you know, um, you know, pay what he's worth and I can get a replacement. If not, fuck off, basically. Um, personally, I wouldn't mind either way if he went, if I'm honest with you. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of Kieran Brown. Uh, especially if he's got one year left on a contract. I'd rather him get sold now than go and replacement uh, and leave for free next year. Isaac Davis, uh, you know, uh, hi Isaac, a youngster. Keeps on threatening to come back, uh, Mick McCarthy says. His ankle was bothering him when his thigh. Uh, he was on his way back and then he got knocked again. The problem, especially with the young lad, is that he's eager to get back. He was close to making his debut. Uh, he needs to make sure he's 100%. So not quite sure that he'll make the squad. Uh, big wishes to uh, Isaac in uh, getting back uh, as soon as possible, really. And getting back 100% as soon as possible. Okay, Isaac Vassell and Tomlin. McCarthy said, uh, Vassell had his first 90 minutes uh, a couple of years. Sorry. Vassell had his first 90 minutes in a couple of years on Tuesday at Leckwith and got through it okay. Uh, Tomo, I think he's looking to coming back into training next week. That's where they are. I think Isaac is not feeling well like the rest of us. I might have been the conduit for that, judging by how I felt on Tuesday night. Don't know what that means, if I'm honest with you. Um, any players outgoing, the question was. Isaac Davis, Ruben Colville won't be going anywhere. Mark Harris has been quite a bit of interest for him, but equally, he's, he's playing in my team and in my squad. I don't see him going. Sam Bowen. We have got five or six midfielders, but I'm delighted with him. The issue is still COVID. You get your squad down to 24 and you only need COVID and you have four or five players who are in isolating and we'd be stuck. Pretty much those youngsters train with the first team and that's improving them more than training with the under 23s or the under 18s. And that's a great asset for them. It's a brilliant learning curve. So to answer your question, I don't know. There are reasons why probably not, but might be someone that goes out on loan if we got adequate cover. Uh, Kieran Evans is another one who's been excellent for the under-23s. Read into that what you want. Okay, transfer window open. Any sign of activity? McCarthy then responds, no, not really. We've got five centre-backs. In my opinion, and only my opinion, I don't rate three of them. We've got six midfield players. <sighs> I may rate one of them. Uh, experienced ones. Wing-backs, we're pretty good shape. I agree with you on that, Mac. The left side is different, but I know Ryan Giles can play there. And I know the forward options. Well, there's not that many forward options, Mick, come on. There's not that many forward options. That's where I'm worried. Um, do crowds make a difference? Who, answer, who asks these questions? Fuck here, no. Tell you what, talk about licking ass. Right. Do crowds make a difference? It does for the home teams, says Mick. Our crowd was brilliant on Saturday. On merit, Barnsley deserved a point, but we would have won the game if we took the chances. Well, but it's taking a chance, says Mick, isn't it? Our way form is superb. Fucking hell, talk about arse licking. Mick says, absolutely, we go, we go away to win games. I always say that a point away from home is a point in your pocket, especially now with the crowds. That's a fair, fair point, but let's see how we do. Important for the first win? Fucking, these questions. Mick said, always important. We can't just dismiss Blackpool, that's for sure, nor Peterborough. Two teams have come up, they got momentum from it. 
we're going there to try and win it, and that's all we can do. That's quite... Blackpool. Judging on this start, I watched the Bristol City game yesterday, Mick said. They're very competitive in that. They hit the post and they play a good brand of football. Pass it out from the back and got momentum from getting promoted. Then they played Middlesbrough and Bastrom 3-0. They will be very confident, a tough game ahead. I actually agree with uh, McCarthy on that. I, I, think, I think it's going to be tougher than what many people think uh, tomorrow. Right, this being interesting. Kiefer and Collins together. Could we play Kiefer and Collins together? If we play a 3-5-2, they can play together, Mick says. If we... We will see if they can play in a 4-3-4-3. Collins played with Luton. He is more adaptable. That's interesting. If there are two strikers up top, they might be a potent force. Personally, I don't. I don't think they will. I. There's no pace. You know, neither have got electric pace. And today's game is about pace. You know, you, know, you need small. Man. If you're going to play two up front, you always need a small man, little man. Maybe that's 80s talk, but uh, that's uh, exactly what I think. Uh, how's Kiefer? Uh, Mick, Ma Mick McCarthy responds. He's all right. He's getting his fitness, his touch, and back to playing. You can be fit. But he's not played any football for a long while. He's got through it. Fitness-wise, he is fine. But he needs to feel the ball uh, and the game. That's fair enough. But I don't think he... he you know, he, had, he played football... You know, he, he's playing in Euros. So you can't believe that. Not much fit. Um... No, I'll just jump down because some of his questions are fucking useless. Um, team news. Injury report. Mark McGuinness has got a knock and Kieran Brown has got a knock, Mick says. Whether they be any good to me or not, I don't know. Otherwise, we're all alright. We've had a bit of a cold going through the camp, but pretty much everybody is okay. Not Kieran. His ankle is bad. Uh... That's basically what it what that's basically what it was. Um, hopefully, in the future, we'll have better, more interest in uh, press conferences. But you know, um, listen. What do you think about Mick McCarthy's response? What do you think uh, about uh, the game tomorrow? Please put it in the comments. Remember, or for the weekend, my my suspension uh, for live streaming will be up, so we could do these on, uh, doing a live stream instead. Um, also, I'd like to thank from the heart this. Uh, earlier on, I mentioned about memberships. I was pretty nervous, really, regarding the possibility that people may not like uh, me announcing the membership uh, uh, scheme to the channel. Um, but everyone, it, it went down okay. I haven't had no uh, people turning away, uh, you know, unsubscribing, which is a good thing. It just shows that the Football with Brownie community... It's, has got now a solid base. I just wanted to thank everyone for that. Um, okay, go and enjoy the Arsenal-Brentford game. See you all later. Bye-bye.